Welcome back to Restore Thrive, guys. Today, it's Big D and me, right? Super fun. Um, so what we are talking about, we've actually had a lot of shared clients that we've been going over this with, uh, lifting technique. And so it's like, you know, we just shoot this video for our YouTube channel so all of you can see how we teach our clients to bend over and pick something up correctly. Um, this is something we go over all the time. Almost every client will get this when they come in because we do this all day long with our kids, our grandkids, our laundry baskets, our groceries, whatever, yard waste bags, I don't care. Um, bending and lifting is super, super important to master because we see a lot of back pain, hip pain, knee pain related to issues with lifting, shoulder pain, neck pain. I mean, it could be the whole gamut of orthopedic issues related to improper lifting technique. So I'm gonna have Dennis demonstrate this. He's awesome at this. I will try and teach it well. <laughs> I do do this with my clients. Uh, but what we're gonna do, so proper setup is important. So notice, he's got his feet about hip width apart. Because what he wants to do when he bends over to pick up this kettlebell is push through the floor. So that way we're using our legs more than our back. We don't wanna use our spine. We do a lot of isometric work with our trunk strengthening in the clinic here um, because that's most of what you need functionally. Our spine shouldn't move a ton when we do daily tasks. It should be stable and we should be moving around our knees and our hips. So Dennis is hip width apart with his feet. Let's pretend this is a laundry basket or groceries or a child, right? A child you're gonna pick up right here depending on their age. So what he is doing here, this is perfect. And if you could come around to the side, um, when he bends over, he is keeping his spine super still. Spine is not moving. What he's gonna do is move around his hips. So go ahead and bend back. He's hinging through his hip joint. Knees are unlocked just a little bit. And where do you feel that? In your hammies, perfect. You should feel some tension there. So what he's gonna do when he grabs a hold of that kettlebell is gonna engage his lat. He's gonna kind of pull down and back just a little bit. That engages the muscle that attaches all the way down here. So everything is still. Tummy tight a little bit, tension in his hammies, and then he's gonna hold everything still and push through the floor to lift that kettlebell. Super easy, and then he's gonna reverse that when he sits back down. So he's sitting back through his hips. Notice, just bend back again. His spine is perfectly straight. We are bending here, a little bit here, push through the floor, engage the arms, and up. Good. And back down. So that is how you pick something up correctly. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you have something a little squishier, well, yeah, no, no, that's not heavier. Yeah, children, exactly. Um, same technique applies, but you're going to scooch all the way. You want to be as close to the thing you're picking up as possible because if the load is way out here, that's a lot of load to control through our arms and our upper back. So he's right over this. He's a little bit wider. He's going to do the same thing, get underneath it, engage the arms, and pick up. Good. When it comes to things that move, if you need a wider base, the same is going to be true. Still the tall with the trunk. When you mm -hmm. sit back and down, though, my shins will push forward along mm -hmm. with my trunk to grab something. Then I'm going to have the exact same cue to push the floor away and mm -hmm. pick it up. And two different techniques we're using here. That is more of a squat. Totally fine. Mm -hmm. This is a little bit lower than this is to the ground. So we have to get our feet wider to get down there sometimes. Totally fine. We have more of a knee bend. Hips and knees will bend together, although we still want to bend through our hips backwards. Okay spine nice and straight. So yeah, great example. Thank you. So hinge technique is what we teach a lot. That's more of a deadlift pattern. Um, and then squat technique more for something super low or wide, awkward, heavy, moving, whatever, moving. children, <laughs> grandchildren, all those things. Um, so leave us a comment below, guys, if you have any questions about lifting technique. We would love to hear your questions. If you need a different explanation for something, we're happy to shoot another video or find us at restorethrive.com for more personalized questions.